Do you know what a belly flop is? Let us show you. This is a belly flop. This is another one. And this is another one. Now that is what Elon Musk's Starship plans to do. Imagine a rocket the size of an Eiffel Tower falling like that when landing. Crazy to think about it, right? Well, it takes a crazy person to think of crazy, innovative things like this. And Elon Musk is definitely crazy. Today, we are going to look at Starship's belly flop, how possible it is, and weirdly enough, if done, how it would change the world forever. But first, we would appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. We always upload quality, factual, and informative videos every week to keep you informed about everything happening all over the world. So subscribe and stay subscribed. Thank you. When you first look at Starship, it might remind you of the old rockets from the 40s and 50s. Starship has two parts, the booster stage, which is called Super Heavy, and the rocket itself. When stacked together, they are called Starship. And to make it more confusing, like in the movie Tenet, the spaceship itself is called Starship. Basically, Starship is Starship. To even start with how phenomenal this is, the rocket, Starship is like no other vehicle that has ever been put into space. It takes off vertically in two stages, and the booster stage, like the first stage of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, returns to the launch pad and is grabbed by arms called chopsticks. When the spaceship's job is done, it too goes back to the pad. But instead of coming in vertically as the boosters do, the ship will belly flop through most of the atmosphere before turning to land upright. A normal rocket lands vertically, but that was just too boring for Musk, so he decided to spice things up by making one of the heaviest rockets ever built do a belly flop as it descends from space. The space industry has never tried this move before, and that is because it is very hard to do but the belly flop maneuver is the only safe and effective way to bring the vehicle back to Earth so it can be used again. The reasoning behind how this works is technical, but we help you understand it. Naturally, an object falling from space will speed up because of the Earth's gravity until it hits its terminal velocity, which is when the force of gravity pulling it down is equal to the force of air resistance pulling it up. That's like saying one plus one equals zero. The higher the air resistance, the slower the item will go because it will speed up less before the forces cancel each other out like a scene from a superhero movie. By belly flopping, Starship's bottom surface goes from 70 meters square to 545 meters square, which makes a big difference in the vehicle's final speed. This lowers the amount of fuel and peak braking needed to bring the vehicle to a stop since it will be moving slower, and it also lowers the amount of heat the vehicle gets from friction at its fastest speed. SpaceX came to the conclusion that around 550 meters is the best height to start Starship's flip maneuver. At this height, Starship uses about 250 meter per second of delta V, which is the most efficient amount. It also has the ability to land safely if an engine fails. It will let Starship turn on its engines and land with the best ratio of thrust to weight of 1.61. To be honest, it's easier said when it's all theory. This is much harder to put into action. The first challenge is that the best height for the final flip needs to be picked. This can be adjusted for fuel use, passenger safety, the chance of an engine breaking down, and the ratio of thrust to weight. The second problem is that a 545 meter square of stainless steel gets very hot when descending because it has a lot of air resistance. SpaceX plans to counter the heat with a heat shield made out of hundreds of hexagonal ceramic tiles that will cover the half of Starship that faces down during the landing phase. This heat shield protects the body from the Earth's atmosphere, where temperatures can reach over 1400 degrees Celsius at their highest. All these are to ensure that Starship is more than ready for the moon. Starship will be used as the landing vehicle for NASA's Artemis III mission, which will send people back to the moon's surface. For that trip, NASA's Orion spacecraft will leave Earth and head to the moon, either behind or in front of Starship. Then, while it is in a special orbit called a halo orbit, it will join up with Starship. Then the crew will move to Starship, which will finally be used to take them to the moon. So, everything has to work well. It is a very amazing feat of engineering to be able to pull off such a complicated move. A vehicle this size that is reusable and can be made bigger or smaller will give us a lot more options and flexibility to hugely expand our horizons in the spaceflight sector. And because of its reusability, space travel will not only become possible, but also cheaper. That's all we have for you today. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and the like button so we know you loved it and can continue producing videos like this. Also, hit the little bell so you get notified with new updated videos just like this. Thank you for watching. Till next time.